cubby versus shelves. Why? Because particularly if you have an ADHD or an EF brain, shelves are unwieldy. Shelves are long. There's no beginning, middle, or end to them. Okay? It becomes clutter. The other thing is most of the time, your client's brains, they think in circles. Okay? They're not linear thinkers. All right, that's why they're fabulous and creative and out of the box because they're over there and they're over there. They're fabulous. But what we need to do is put edges around the circles, which is why I cubby size everything. I don't necessarily just cubby size space, but I cubby size information. If you are speaking to your client and you are giving them this, you know, to do this and da 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 da, this is what it looks like to them. Can you see that? Okay, that's it's what it looks like. What? It's rushing the ancient it's, it's at, wait till you see what it really is. Okay, this is, this is your client's brain on a shelf, <laughs> right? This is your client's brain on a cubby. That actually was, these are British TV stations. I thought you guys would appreciate that, that. That's what it was, but none of you knew that. Isn't that interesting? This are, can you see? These are British, this is your brain, this is your client's brain on a shelf, whether it's information or stuff. What I find interesting is how many of you knew that these were British TV stations? You did. Mwah. This is your client's brain in a cubby. 